Hello, and I want to just go through what you need to buy or acquire or uh, gather for your facial. So after your training, um, you'll need to get a kit. Now, there are a couple of ways of doing this, which I've discussed with you on training. Um, you can join either um, Tropic or Arbonne or Neil's Yard or new skin or whatever else you want to join uh, whoever else which brand uh, sings to you uh, as a multi-level marketing business opportunity without a huge outlay because some of the bigger houses like dr hauschka and wren and dermalogica and oskia they all require quite a few thousand pounds to open an account with them and then you have to have a retail um, opportunity like a shop so um, for, a, for private independent therapists uh, it's better to go down um, the personal multi-level marketing so I think that's the best way so anyway I'm going to show you a few bits and pieces and then you can gather now you don't even have to do that you don't have to join a multi-level marketing uh, company um, you can just gather these products and have them and then just buy them and then just replenish and rebuy them. Um, but I just think that if you, you know, if you're going to be doing facials in your practice, that it's a good business opportunity for sales and for a little bit more business. But it's not necessary. Anyway, um, so do you remember we talked about cleansing we we actually did cleanse scrub cleanse but i know that a lot of people do double cleanse scrub so it doesn't matter which way you do it there's lots of different pre-cleanses as well there are oil balm pre-cleansers um we know that neil's yard have got their wild rose beauty balm that could be a that could be a pre-cleanse it's such a it's such an all-round fab product that um it can be like a balm that goes into an oil um, or you can use more like an oil-based pre-cleanser, which I haven't got. But um, what I would suggest you do is just use a regular cleanser. So um, downstairs, I've got a whole load of cleansers, but um, there's foam cleansers, lotion cleansers. Here's um, from SkinCeuticals. That's a sort of lotion-y cleanser. And then there is also from Tropic, we have their smoothing cleanser, which is a sort of creamy but oil based cleanser. This is great. And then from Neil's Yard, it's downstairs, but we have the calendula cleanser. It comes in a tube, looks a little bit, whoops, where are we? Uh, looks a little bit like that, but it's, an, it's a creamy, it's a creamy cleanser. Uh, with calendula they do have some others I don't know their range off by heart yet but um, they have some nice cleansers in a tube so um, there's also Haeckel's I've got here there's more like a foaming cleanser that's rather nice and what else have I got that's that's pretty much oh yes and then there's well that would be your superficial cleanse and then you can do like a deep cleanse if you want to with Tropic they've got their clear skies nice sort of micro powder and they've got the clear slate as well clear plaid this is like a second uh, cleanse like a deep cleanse if you want to if you haven't got those products you can literally just do two applications of the cleanser just a regular cleanse so you can do that then um the so you've done double cleanse or like like i said for for, for, for me i do cleanse scrub and then the clear skies that's the way i play it uh, when i'm doing a facial when i'm at home i'm just doing clean, normal cleanse maybe like a scrub and sometimes i just use this as a cleanser so i don't only when i'm doing a facial do i do it all um i'll do a separate video for just daily daily routines if you like uh, but this is when you're doing a facial um so this is um a polish from tropic it's beautiful it's got bamboo silica it's really really fine grain smells amazing it's a really beautiful product and um, it's got bamboo silica um acai berry and macadamia oil it's really really beautiful really fine product and then neil's yard also have this rehydrating facial polish that's also smells amazing beautiful uh that's a very very fine polish as well so i like the polishes rather than masks. Uh, 
uh, so the mask, sorry, I'm just looking at the mask here, rather than the facial scrub. Now, the facial scrub is still very gorgeous and it is fine. It's nice. It's, it's, it's fine. Oops, let's get the light on that. But um, it's it's grain is still very, very fine, but still a little coarser than the polish. But this is also a beautiful product. It's really it's a really nice product. Orange and honey face mask. That's nice. So once we've done our double cleanse and scrub or cleanse, scrub, cleanse, um, get the the reason why I do cleanse scrub cleanse is because often when you do a double cleanse and a scrub it's really hard to get all the scrub off isn't it and you're left with a little bit of grain and I just find that um it interferes with the massage so um I, I really like to do a, a cleanse a scrub and another cleanse I, with a clear sky really gets the the grain off and then a nice little buff with a dry flannel and then a nice tone so the toners are, oops, oh sorry, sorry. Um, from Tropic they've got their, their morning mist that's rather delish and um, I like them, I like the mists rather than the, the toners on a cotton pad. I find these really hydrate, I, I love the hydration factor of that. So um, there's that and then, and then Neil's Yard have their mists as well. This is the white tea facial mist. There's also, oh, I've got it right here actually. Um, where is it? No, oh, I thought I did have it. Maybe I left it downstairs. Oh no, it has it just hasn't got a, oh no, sorry. Sorry, no, it must be downstairs. <clears throat> um, oh, is it in the box? Hang on a second, is it in the box? It is in the box and that is the, um, oh, where? show you the mirror sorry um the frankincense facial mist so they've got a couple of different mists and then i keep the boxes um and i keep not, not the boxes excuse me i keep the bottles and then i buy um this this is the rehydrating toner so i keep these bottles and then i buy a top up and i top them up and um, so I have a little selection. So I've got here the Rehydrating Rose Toner, the Frankincense Facial Mist and the White Tea Facial Mist. I think toners and mists are very similar. Um, we definitely don't want any sort of um, alcohols in our toners. So actually, because there's no alcohol in them, they, the mists are good because they're hydrating and we just want something really refreshing and really hydrating. And then with these nice essential oils and, and botanicals, um, we are looking to really hydrate the skin. So cleanse, cleanse, scrub or exfoliate, tone. And then we're ready for our facial uh, massage. Now, um, oh, I haven't got it up here, but oh. you can use all sorts of different facial oils. There is actually a really nice one from Neil's Yard. This is their um, orange flower, which is Neroli facial oil. Actually, I wouldn't use that for massage because it's just really nice to put a few drops on um at the end which i'll tell you about but you can use it what you could do is buy a little bit of jojoba oil and mix a little bit with these so you could also buy um the elixir from um tropic that's a nice facial oil or you can use one of fine tunings get into fine tuning facial oils i do sell my facial oils if you wanted to buy one um you're very welcome to purchase um, but also if, if you were to um, go along the tropic line they have the elixir and again you could mix that with a little bit of apricot kernel or jojoba just to make it go so you could put a little bit of plain and then a few pumps of that for your massage so you need a massage facial oil a massage oil okay um, and then after that once the um, massage is finished you're going to just blot with a tissue just to sort of get or, or a flannel just to get any excess oil off before you go in with your serums now serums you know i mean i've got a collection and a half but you i would go for something like a hyaluronic um a hyaluronic acid and where is my hyaluronic acid uh where are you 
All right, oh here, yeah. So Tropic have got a Hyalonic in um, Rainforest Dew, and they've also got the Glowberry, which is a vitamin C. I've got some um, SkinCeuticals, vitamin C, and um, some also their, their what, like Hyalonic Acid and Fulvic Acid, is it called? Uh, these are really nice um, serums. I've got a Neil's Yard Frankincense Intense, it's quite pricey, but beautiful. Frankincense uh, Lift Serum, quite lipidy, um, but really beautiful. I've got some serums from Haeckel's. These are seaweed based. You can get those, have a look at those. Um, you can also have a look at The Ordinary. I like The Ordinary. Um, I'll show you their branding so that you can see it. That This is like an ascorbic acid from The Ordinary, but they have a really nice serum called Buffett. And they also have a serum, like a hyaluronic. And then also um, a company that I, I like a lot is this Garden of Wisdom. You can buy those from a company called Victoria Health. They're rather nice. So they that's um, that's a hyaluronic acid serum. And this one is uh, Bacucci, oil, Bacucci oil, oil serum. So your ser serums can be very light and sort of water-based or aloe-based, or you can get more into the oil base, the very light oil serums. Um, the... Um, that where is it uh yes yeah, skin serum this um ayura i use quite a lot of these oils from ayura these are fab these are ayurvedic oils that's a serum but it's an oil um so do do investigate hyaluronics vitamin c's uh peptides and have a little explore of that world so once you put your serum on i also put a little bit of eye cream um so tropic have got their eye work and they've also got um in neil's yard they've got their frankincense intense eye cream They've also got some little pump like white tea gels. I know I've used um, white tea gels as well. Um, this is also like a beauty sleep concentrate if you want something that's really nourishing. I put a few pumps of this on at night. So for a facial, you could use this as a serum, this um, beauty skin, beauty sleep concentrate. Um, okay. So a little bit of eye a little bit of eye cream, eye gel, serum. Tropic have also got something called Eye Dream, which is a really nice ceramide, like a little balm that goes into an oil. That's rather nice. And then after that, you're going to use a moisturiser. And depending on the skin type, you could use from Tropic the Skin Feast, which is rather lovely. By the way, also Tropic have a very, very, very large range of serums. They have um the prebiotic and probiotic uh blue spirulina not is it blue, blue algaes of, of blue lagoon they have their ocean dive the ocean dive's great we've got some ocean dive here this is really good this is salicylic acid great for open pores and spottiness um they've also got their their fruit peel enzymes is nearly finished actually and um They've also got their super greens, which I'll talk to you about in a minute. This is my all-time favourite prod product, I think. Um, anyway, moisturisers. The Skin Feast is great. That goes on. It's quite light, the Skin Feast. It's really nice. It's got, um, again, it's got a hyaluronic acid in it. Um, ectin, ectoin molecules and Calada Plum. Is that Calada? No, Cacada Plum Extract. I love prod I love these products with interesting botanicals. Um, and then there's also Neil's Yard with their beautiful... Oh, do you know what we didn't talk about? I'm going to go back. I'm going to have to either record this all over again because I've forgotten the mask. <sighs> okay. So it doesn't matter because we're not doing a sort of 
order of play, but you do need a mask as well. So after the, um, you're probably going, Anna, mask, 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 mask. <laughs> Fuck, sorry. Um, so after the facial massage, you need to get a mask. And the mask conversation, just let me know why that I'm, I'm up to the moisturisers in a minute. I think this menopausal world is quite interesting. Um, so masks, just a huge amount of masks. The Tropic masks, there's three different types. There's a very hydrating mask. There's an uplifting. There's a purifying. Uh, I like masks to be hydrating. I like an easy on and easy off mask personally. So if you're dealing with clay, you want to be really careful about the product that you buy. Why do I do some really beautiful masks? Neil's Yard has got this uh, white tea face mask, which is... It's like a, yeah, it looks like a clay, um, in kaolin clay, but hopefully it's an easy on, easy off. And you just want to put like a thin layer of mask. Whenever you do mask these days, don't cake it on. Just put a nice thin layer on. Um, the, the Tropic, um, uh, what's it called? Comfort food. It, the hydrating one is, is my favourite. It's, it is really fab um but have a look around at different masks there was another actually neil's yard have a mask another mask here they have a rejuvenating frankincense mask that's not going to be clay that's going to be a little bit more with um sodium hyaluronate these are all organic anyway from neil's yard so they are more have i undone it have i opened it yet i haven't even opened it but i would say that, that would be a really sort of like a, a cooling not cooling, but hydrating. So not so not so cakey and and um, purifying, but more hydrating and and uh, nourishing. But you definitely want an easy on, easy off. It's got turmeric in it. This um, and um, some other beautiful calming. So that's that's nice. That's worth. Um, I'm going to have a have a go at that actually. Um, what have I got here? I've got some samples galore. Uh, from De Nova Pro smoothing mask. Don't know what, what's in here at all. It's in uh, French, I think. Is it French? Maybe. No, it's not French. It's Scandinavian, actually. Uh, but these are collagen. These are collagen boosting. So, and I like sheet masks as well. Sheet masks are really good. So you can try sheet masks and play with sheet masks. Um, so much in my cupboards. So, double cleanse or cleanse scrub, cleanse or double cleanse scrub, massage with an oil, uh, mask, S mask comes off, I would do some more toner, you've got this written down, um, serums, all the serums and your eye cream, and then we are back to moisturisers. So heavier moisturisers, heavier moisturisers, where are you, face mask? Heavier moisturisers from Neil's Yard, frankincense hydrating cream is a sort of quite a thick-ish cream. Oh yes, it's nice, it's a thick-ish cream, beautiful. It smells amazing. I like this. The thing about these though, when you're doing facials, this is my only, this is my only, um, I don't know what the word is, qualm, shall we say. The only thing about using pots, it's not the end of the world, but you need to get some sort of spatula. Um, you can either use wooden spatulas, but I'd, I'd like something a bit more sustainable. So, um, you know, like a nice sort of gua sha or something like that you could use just so that uh, we're not dipping our fingers in and out of these. Um, we want to be using a spatula in every single product without putting our fingers in and out. Um, you know, you, you could decant a little bit out onto a slate or onto a tray or something, but um, I would just buy, you know, a nice sort of piece of wood or, or a piece of gua sha or a crystal and just so that you can go in and out of your um, products. Um, so yeah, um, Skin Feast or Neil's Yard or um, Hakel's have got a nice, this is lovely, I think it's got chamomile, calming, uh, if you've seen Hakel's, where's the front of theirs, Hakel's, I've been using that uh, on myself, which is beautiful, 
I think this is really nice. Um, definitely can smell um, chamomile in here, but it's just got some really lovely extracts and lovely products in there as well. So that's that. Um, now, once you've done your moisturizer, I put a couple of drops of facial oil right at the end as well when I'm doing a facial and when I do for myself. So that world is another massive world, but I love super greens. This is packed full of super greens with uh, vitamin C, tamanu, kale, broccoli seed, and just, it's even improved. It's, they, they've just relaunched and this is, this is even improved now. This is my favorite, I adore this. Uh, so much so that I top it up with my own tamanu as well, just to make it last a little bit longer. Um, and then, oh my goodness, I mean, there's so many. Um, I use the Elixir, so the, the, the Elixir's nice as well. Where did the Elixir go? There it is. So you could use the Elixir, a few drops of the Elixir is really nice. You can use um, Dr. Hauschka, have a really nice oil I use. Um, and then this company, I think I've told you about this company, this um, Ayura, I've got about five different without going into all of it, but I've got about five different oils from Iora that I that I work with um, on my own face. But you could just select a nice oil, or even if it's the facial oil that you use for massage, you can just use. So when you're doing massage, you're going to use maybe like two whole, two or three whole pipettes because you're doing all this massage. Um, if you're doing, at the, at the very end, when you're just doing an oil, uh, you're just using a few. So let's put a little bit of super greens on just because we can. Just a couple, like three drops. Um, and fantastic. It just, I just like it. It gives, it, nice, it gives your skin a nice glow. Um, and then, like I showed you earlier, Neil's Yard have got this beauty. They've got lots of lovely oils as well. Uh, if you're an aromatherapist, make your own. That's my recommendation. I make my own, um, funnily enough, I haven't got any up here. They're all in the uh, training room and at the treatment rooms. So there we have it. Hopefully that's um, everything that you need to get. And then of course you can get the gua sha stones, mushrooms, and all the sundries that you need, um, all your cloths and everything. But that is plenty of your time. I do apologise for that blip in the middle of forgetting to do the mask. Um, but thankfully, um, I was able to rescue myself. And hopefully you've got a shopping list now of things that you need to buy. If you have any questions, please do get back to me and I'm happy to answer anything. So lots of love to you. Um, enjoy your facials. Enjoy doing your facials. And um, if you want to discuss any sort of skincare or other products, um, more than happy to go through those with you. Lots of love. Talk to you soon.